guys, it's Arsenal Dev here, and I have for you today a texture pack slash resource resource pack uh, kind of tutorial thing. So I'm gonna show you how you make one for Minecraft 1.7.2 or higher. You could even do it for uh, like a lower version of Minecraft, like 1.6.4, etc. So uh, what you need to do first is go in the description and click on the link for the default texture pack, and it'll give you uh, this file right here and it's a zip file so it's really easy to download uh, it's on media fire it's a media fire yeah media fire so yeah um, so once you've got once you got the file you just keep it and then uh, extract it so you get these two files here pack.mc meta and then assets or assets um, and for this because you'll need gimp uh, it's really good you could also use like photoshop or paint.net but I use gimp it's awesome <laughs> so uh, for example, let's do um, just open GIMP real quick and uh, GIMP startup. Might take a sec because I'm recording. There we go. Okay, so uh, you're just gonna open the file and then once you're done that, you can. Uh, well, I'm just gonna go to desktop and then look for the file and then. So I found the file here. Uh, I just put it on my desktop because it's easy. There's category right there. So uh, go in assets. And then Minecraft, and then textures. So uh, this this is only for the textures, not for the sound. Uh, I might do another part for sounds and all that stuff. But uh, yeah, so for blocks, let's say, or you, we can do blocks. We can do an item. Uh, I think an item will be easier. Well, it'll be shorter, right? It won't take as long, much time. Uh, just, let's do this real quick. Sorry about that. So items. Uh, I've already edited a few items. You see these files. See this you can you can add this, but I I did doesn't really do anything. So uh, let's just look for like an item, like a sword, a sword maybe. Um, sword, sword, sword. Uh, let's see stone sword. Why not? Okay, so we got the stone sword here. So you'll take the uh, I forgot what it's called. Uh, a zoom tool. So you're gonna make it bigger, and if it's too big, you just hit Control, and then you make it smaller, and then you can just like, you know, yeah, like that. So you just make it smaller until it's a good size, and then oh, one second. Okay, so then once you've done that, you go on this tool right here, the pencil tool, and then you make the smaller the size, so it's not. Go ahead, watch. So you don't want it to be giant like this, right? So you make it smaller, and um, pick the one pixel. <laughs> So now you got your uh, your tool to edit the item. So let's just pick something. We'll just make it kind of look like an emerald sword. So I'll just make this relatively quick, so it won't get boring. So you just you know put colors in it, and uh, you know why not? Let's just put some blue around it. So oh, yeah. make it look nice. I know this is not nice. It's pretty much like. I don't know. I'm just doing this quickly because it'll probably be really boring to watch. Ah, it kind of looks. It doesn't look that bad, but yeah, I'm working on a cartoony type of texture pack, so you guys will see that in a minute. So, okay, let's just say that's that's what you want. Okay, so when you're done that, you can just exit out of the colors or pencil tool, and then you're gonna go on file, and then once you're done that, you go on. Oh, oh crap! Someone's calling me. One sec. Eh. Okay, so once you're done that, you go on uh, overwritestonesword.png. Oh, frick's sake, man. Stop calling. Okay, one sec. Uh, if he calls one more time. Okay, overwritestone underscore sword.png. You click that. So it'll pretty much remove the other one, and then we'll re replace it with this this sword. And then you go, you can save it if you want. Save, or not save it, copy. Um, save as, and then just name it whatever and then dot xcf for uh, gimp so when you're done you can just exit out and uh, go on to minecraft and uh... it'll take a second to load 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 um... so you just log in really quickly uh... make sure you uh, so what you're gonna have to do now is you're gonna have to kinda drag this folder into this one so drag the assets sets into um, default resource pack because it's a zip file 
Uh, you can't, I, I'm pretty sure you can't put a jar file, I don't know, in it, but, um, and then you put the pack.mc meta in there too. And then, uh, make sure, I think you need one war, win rar for this. You don't have to, but I think it'll be good. So once you have that, you go on Minecraft, and then you will have to go on options, resource packs, and open the folder. And then once you've done that, you will have to drag it in. So it's all ready. You drag it in, and then uh, you'll see it doesn't show up yet. So you're gonna have to click done, and then resource packs. And then you see this now. You click on that, and then click done. And then once you're done with that, you go on multiplayer if you want. I'm just gonna go on my server real quick. Uh, start gaming. Okay. So uh, the other textures I made not too long ago. So you just see that. So that's the other textures I made. And then if you want to look for the so stone sword, it is right here. So as you can see, it kind of camouflages into the ground. But actually, it looks cool. It's like neon, and you, you can put more details into it by changing the colors. Uh, this is this is not an HD texture pack, so that's why it, it, could, it doesn't look as good as it can be. But you can obviously make it look good, like the grass right here, or anything else I've made, if you can tell the differences. So yeah, that's pretty much it. And if you ever want to edit it again, wait, let me turn on the specific. Okay, so if you ever want to um, edit it again, just keep doing the same thing. So you just restart we don't restart but um you go back in gimp and uh you just do everything again so you um you just pick another file so i'll just show you real quickly uh you can disconnect so if you want to edit it again and add some more stuff uh just open another one and then pick something else and then once you're done with that you just uh you replace it again and then you're gonna have to do the same thing where uh you uh, well, you're gonna have to take it out of the, f like, I'll just show you right now, real quickly. Uh, you're gonna have to take out the thing from the, uh, the file from the resource pack. Uh, come on, load. Load, please. Okay, so, uh, let's see. So you're gonna have to go into options, once this is done loading. Uh, so you're gonna have to go back in options, resource pack, and then you have to put this back here and open your resource pack folder and you can't change it you can't take it out because minecraft is running so you are have to close minecraft and then you're gonna have to open the other file if you want it's just best right come on open okay we can just put this here for now and uh... close this open this texture pack folder um... and then you put this here and then you put the, you drag it again so you put this in here uh, obviously it won't do anything because I haven't changed anything since the sword, so it won't do anything, but that's how you do it pretty much, and then you have to drag the pack.mc meta again. And that's pretty much how you make a texture pack, so I hope uh, you guys learned some stuff. Remember to leave a like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't. See you next time.